A flat ground big spin. That was a real clip, huh? What is going on, guys? Today is Saturday, which means Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. By the way, thank you to those of you who have been submitting videos because without you, this series would be a little bit harder to do. What would I have to talk about? I don't know. Anyways, today we have two park videos in my notes. One of them is okay and one is good. So let's try to figure out which one is which. First video is called iPhone Skate Clips from Thomas Shirell. He's 13 and he loves to skate. Start at the beginning play. Loading. Nose grind back 180. This is looking great already. Backsmith 270. Is it really a 270 though? I don't know. Tray flip coming up. Heel flip over the table. This guy's at skate camp. Maybe, maybe doing the lowest kick flip I've ever seen on a quarter pipe there. Another tray flip. We're already getting repetitive. So it seems like this is going to be one of those guys who ignores everything I say. I try to only review HD footage. I must have missed that when I skimmed through this. I don't watch the entire videos before I review them because I want to keep this shit kind of real. But. I'm not a big fan of non-HD footage, and this guy just completely ignored me. We've already seen a lot of repeated tricks, so not only did he ignore my instructions on how to submit a video, he's also ignored the past 212 Ninja Review episodes that help you to make an entertaining video. And because of that, I've skipped half the footage. I stopped paying attention. We get a blurry nose grind right here. Another back 5-0, still repeating tricks. Coming up, back 180 up. Fakey. 50-50 pop in. That's a really cool way to pop in. It looks a lot better to do that than to just fall in uh, switch. He does it again right there. Really nice. Uh, some complete laziness bullshit editing right there. So we know this guy doesn't take his video serious at all. 5-0 across. I just, I don't mean to over complicate, you know, making a fun skate video. But I also don't mean that you can just throw any bullshit together and pretend that you worked hard on it okay because all i get out of this is i threw some clips together and some of them i gave a fuck about and some i didn't so that's just how they ended up blurry front lip right here blurry smith grind really shaky camera another complete lack of care for wanting the video to look anything less than fucking complete shit another crooked grind a flat ground big spin that was a real clip huh Wow, Cricket Grind down. Really blurry here, front shove. Is the video almost done? I hope so. Another feeble grind. Really nice nose grind across the flat bar. And finishing off with a 5-0. That was the video. Oftentimes I hear, Ninja Lifestyle, why are you so mean? I don't feel like I'm being mean. I don't think there's a positive or negative spin when you're calling out something like, a lazy video maker the same as if a toe drag happens i'm not calling out the toe drag as some super personal insult i'm calling out the toe drag because it happened it exists on earth so when a skateboarder puts together a skate video and they say they worked really hard on it and half the tricks are blurry 50 percent of the tricks are repeated tricks half the tricks needed to be redone and some of them are from instagram some of them are cropped all weird some of them just look bad in general what that tells me is your version of working hard on a skate video is different than some other people's then again some people put skateboarding videos together just so they can watch it or for their own enjoyment I'm not calling out those people but if you submit a video to me and you actually want to improve either your skating or your video making then all I ask for is a little bit of effort and all this is is a complete lack of effort from an otherwise talented skateboarder I don't know Thomas Cheryl the 13 year old skater in real life so all I have is this video to go off and this video that he showed me actually takes away from the real skill that he possesses. And again, we have like 213 episodes, different episodes of Ninja Review, and this guy ended up making the same mistake as every other person made. So I just get the feeling he wasn't really trying. 
If you guys disagree or if maybe I missed something, then let me know your thoughts in a comment below. By the way, that video and the next video will be linked in the description below. So maybe you want to watch their video without my annoying voice. Let's go ahead and watch our second video. It's called Instagram Montage 4 by Lewis Jerry Play. Rolling up pretty slow, kickflip, back tail. Not a long slide there, crooked grind, falling out of the flat bar. Next trick, kick flip, crooked grind. Quality here seems okay, nothing amazing. Heel hanging off there, this got a little bit blurry, but that was an excellent, hold on, I'm gonna actually rewind that. That was a really good crook nolly heel. A lot of people, they kind of pressure flip. <laughs> it's funny, I just said pressure flip as there was a pressure flip. A lot of people pressure flip their way out of the crook nolly heel he actually did it the real way so that was really cool couple of quick footed combos here switch heel going up nolly back heel perfectly done hand flip not a fan of grabbing the skateboard with your hands but to each their own kickflip manual board slide definitely keeping it exciting we're going trick 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 we don't have any weird black bars on the edge of the screen here because he seems to have wanted to take this video a little bit serious and really show his skill. I don't know what the fuck that trick is called, some weird Cody Witch shit. Everyone says, well if you don't know the tricks, then you shouldn't be reviewing them. I do this shit live, we got a nolly front foot flip right there, that was awesome. We get some weird late Lottie spin, does anyone still call him that? I feel like I'm weird for saying Lottie spin, whatever. What was that? Laser flip, I think. I looked away from the screen, pushed twice. Kick flip front grind. Got the striped shirt. Where's Waldo? Right there. Or is that Blue's Clues? I'll never know. Nolly hard flip done really well right there. Switch hard flip? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Smith grind going up. Uh, very exciting here. No slide big spin. Not a lot of roll up or roll away. So, uh, just really a display of, of the skills he has. Frontside flip, revert. Would we call that a 360 kickflip? I don't know. Doing the manual 180 switch manual, doing it the hard way. Forward flip off. His friends clapping for him. Kickflip, quick nolly shove. Back lip. We're getting a real good uh, mix up of tricks and obstacles, locations. We got some at night, some in the day. Kick flip to the half late heel. Switch hard flip revert. We got some skills here, boys. This is definitely the good video. And the last video was the okay video. We got the crook inward heel. Oftentimes, I say that your guys' goal when submitting a video should be to shut me up. And I feel like with this video, Lewis Jerry did a good job of not giving me much to complain about. Let's go through our average complaints. Toe drags, not a whole lot of them. I didn't see any. Heel drags, tic tacs, manuals where the tail scrapes. I didn't see any of those. Too much roll up, too much roll away. Nope, didn't see that here. He did do a couple of tricks kind of slow, but this was two minutes and 23 seconds of non-stop skating. So overall, this was a 10 out of 10, unless maybe I missed something. Also, you gotta give credit here for the diversity of tricks. He did manuals, he did rails, he did ledges. The only thing that maybe we're missing is stairs, but then again, this is mostly a park montage. So we shouldn't really be complaining about not enough street footage. So really, my hat's off to you, Lewis Jerry. This is the best ninja review that we've had submitted in a while. Quickly, let's revisit the fake hard flip topic because it seems like that video got a couple more views than the usual video and people suddenly considered me the hard flip guru. I want you guys to know there is a gray area between a fake hard flip and a totally 100% real hard flip. And if you're in the gray area, you just kind of have to let the argument go. Right here, you see a flick, you see a vertical skateboard action happening, the skateboard's going up, and the main thing you want to notice here is that the front foot actually does a flip. A lot of the times, these hard flips, the front foot moves out of the way and just makes way for the pressure of the back foot, but right here, what we get is a gray area switch hard flip, and if it's in the gray area, it's allowed, it counts. The only bad hard flips are the ones that are blatantly obviously done either like a shove it 
or like a weird pressure flip just so we could get that debate out of the way anyways first video was nowhere near as good as the second video then again the second video would have been a really hard video to compete against anyways i would love to hear your guys thoughts maybe i did miss something lewis did wrong if you guys can find something then leave a timestamp and let me know in the comments below if you actually plan on putting some effort into a video and you would like me to review it and give my thoughts and critiques well all you have to do is submit a video to me it's easy type in ninja lifestyle on facebook find my page then send me a message and in that message put a link to a youtube video make sure the youtube video is in hd and it doesn't have any completely lazy bullshit clips from instagram that are blurry and shitty with weird bars on the side of them because i don't want to do it it's my fucking show i don't want to review bullshit it's really not uncommon for people to just say why don't you just review it the way i want you to review it why don't you just follow my instagram and make your own montage and then review that like i'm supposed to be doing both sides of the work fuck you if you want to review i'm here i love to do this series and again i appreciate those of you who follow the instructions correctly we come out with this video every single saturday so subscribe if you're not already we also put out other videos and I'm still getting people in the comments saying, well, this guy probably doesn't even ride a skateboard. How fucking lazy are you? Just look up my footage, losers. I will see you guys next time. Kuna Matata, bitches. In the arms.